My life is going on. Hey guys, so <sighs> today has been a day. It is Friday. I actually look really good for my makeup. Um, so I am at the post office because I missed my appointment to get my passport. I'm trying to apply for a passport. Well, I'm not trying, like I am applying for a passport, but this is the second. I've literally rescheduled like four times just because my work schedule has been hectic and I haven't been able to get it together. And I literally have appointments every, like last week I had my eye appointment. And then this next week I have to get my wis my last wisdom tooth out. And then, so I have to drive all the way home, but also I keep picking up shifts. So like, I'm really stressed out. Like I feel like I'm working three jobs because now I am for my part-time job. I'm going to both parents' house because they're separated. So one week I would go to dad's house and next week I would go to the mom's house. On top of that, it's the weekend, which means I work my night shifts and I've been picking up a shift. So I've been working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights for the last two weeks. And I'm just a hot jumbled mess, if you can't tell. So I went in to do my passport and I'm late. Of course I'm late and I'm upset because I am never late to things and my anxiety is just on 100 right now because of it and it's because i just took forever to do my makeup i don't you can barely tell that i'm wearing makeup i'm wearing light makeup um but man my eyebrows were giving me such a hard time i couldn't get them to match which i know is so stupid but my eyebrows are the hardest part that i need to make sure they look good because your girl does not look good without her eyebrows done and that's like the main thing i need done on my face i also straightened my hair so my hair is literally well it was stick straight um and so i got to my car i was already two minutes late getting when i got to my car had to run back inside to get my birth certificate <sighs> So I'm like scrambling, I'm shaking so bad. And then I finally get to the post office like literally six minutes late and they told me I couldn't do any of the work even though it wasn't really busy. I mean, there was a line, but they weren't like busy, busy. Then I realized that I don't have any of my parents' info. My dad passed away seven years ago. So I don't remember his birthday. I don't remember a lot of it. Um, I don't have much communication with my mom just because she lives in a different part of the state so I have to get a hold of her which I'm doing right now and she's giving me the info which is really good but like I'm so stressed out I should not be crying over this I'm about to cry like I don't know if you can hear it in my voice but my voice is very shaky and like why do we still need our parents info if we're over 21 to fill out a passport I don't know I don't know so Sorry guys, this is very dramatic. Have you ever seen that or that TikTok where um, you're stressed out and everything is going wrong and then this guy literally opens his door and his pocket gets stuck on the door handle and that just is the end of the world. Like it's the last piece that makes you like scream and whatnot. That's how I'm feeling right now. Like literally if I drop my keys, I'm literally gonna have a tantrum. Or if my pocket gets stuck on the door handle, I'm gonna have a tantrum. Oh my God! <laughs> that's how i'm feeling right now sorry to put this on you guys but that's what's going on um i have to go to my part-time job for like four hours and then i go to work an hour later to work tonight and mm, so i'm just going and i'm stressed out i'm stressed out come get me So needless to say, check your planner before you pick up any extra shifts at work because sometimes the money is not worth the stress. Also, pray for me because I hope this will happen. I hope I can get my passport renewed. I have to redo it on Monday. So I picked up the next available shift or the next available appointment on Monday because I need it so bad. I just need to get this done. I need to literally do it. Okay, thanks for coming to my vent my venting session oh i should no i need to get a car wash but since i work two more nights i should just wait until i get out of work on sunday morning because the roads i take to work are dirty and muddy and icy and it's just uh-uh it's not good so thank you for listening to me freak out have a little meltdown so i haven't been doing much just literally binging tv 
yeah that's that's it guys now that i had my freak out i think i'm calm now so thank you guys <laughs>
and it's just adding up and it's beginning to be like a big toll on me and I don't know I don't know how long I can handle it because I'm starting to stress out really bad and I keep picking up shifts and I literally got a text message asking if I could pick up another shift this week <sighs> I mean I could but like but I've just been so exhausted been so exhausted so this would be like my third week in a row working four di four night shifts in a row as much as I hate it, I really want the money so I could save up for my trip this year. But now my mouth feels level. Like, I knew my teeth were moving and I think it's because of that last wisdom tooth that was coming out. Like, it was coming down. And it was messing up my chewing and biting and all that. So, my mouth feels nice now that it's like even on both sides, but it hurts right now. So, I'll catch up with you guys, hopefully, yes, tomorrow. Of